Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm a trained carrying consultant and I want to show you today a carry that is called short cross carry with a ring. So we have a nice OSHA blossom cascade here and uh, um, you can really follow uh, the steps better because it has a nice drag. So here is my top rail that is dark and my bottom rail is lighter. And um, we, what we also need for this uh, carry is a ring sling ring. I have two sizes here, so this is a size M, this is a size L. Um, for me and with this uh, wrap, normally it works better to take an L version, so I just get this one away, the M. So and it's, uh, as it is pre-tight, we can do all the steps before get the baby in. And pre-tight um, normally means that you also can get uh, the baby in easily in and out. So this is really nice. So what we first do is find the middle marker. This is here. And just take the wrap and gather it. So I have the two middle markers here in my hand. And now I will take the ring and slide one size. Slide the rib. So here we go, it is, and this I now put on my back. So as you can see, my top wire, my dark top wire is here, and my ring is here, and I now lower it, so it comes at the middle of my back. And what we do now is take first one side, make sure not to fold it, my little helper already wants to get in and take it around here wrap the ring and then go from the outside towards your back to the inside and keep it here so I hold my ring because it's um, really important to have uh, the other side the same way so it locks themselves so I, again I take my wrap gather it a bit Take it around me, find my ring, which I still have, going from the outside towards the back, slide, get through, now it looks like this, and this is my carry. Now I have to still make a bit of room for my baby, so I grab here from the outside to the inside. This is the room where the baby comes in. As I have a bigger toddler here, I need a bit more room. If you have a baby which is newborn, you can put it up here. Although this carry doesn't provide neck support, so I would only recommend it to take it from week eight or 12 when the baby has the first neck control. You could also work with a small muslin and, and roll it in here, but that is approximately the age where it's appropriate to wear and then where it's also comfortable to wear for you and the child. So, now I get my little helper. There he comes in. Okay, so I take him on my arm. Are you okay? Yeah? <laughs> ah. And put him on my shoulder and then I take his one leg through the cross. Put him on my other shoulder and take the other leg through the other cross. So he's now sitting in the cross, as you can see it. Hi. So we first take the upper rail, the top rail, so this is the dark one, of the side, which is the inner layer. And then I slide it over here. This is one side. Make sure that the bunch of wrap is here and the other bottom uh, top rail comes over to the one knee. Ooh, ow! <laughs> so the same thing we do on the same on the other side. So take the top rail, slide it over, and uh, normally with a smaller baby, they have their arms in and can cuddle. Mine decides to. Yeah, to have his arms out. So, so, and here we go. So we now can tie the whole wrap. So towards our clothing system, you can pull it here, and I can 
Thread in, thread by thread tightening. On this tail, do it on the other side. Already pretty good. And here we go. This is a short cross carry. <laughs> He's real happy in here. So, this is uh, really nice. The weight is on your back. You can also see if the ring has to be a bit higher or a bit lower. And if you have a long yes. wrap, you really have lovely uh. tails to show off, which is also nice. So if you want to get your baby out, you just take one rail to the side and the other rail to the side and get your baby out again. Hi! <laughs> so that's it. Please watch the safety issues because they also can pop the seat, but not mostly. This is working really, really well for me and him it does. So have fun uh, trying one and you carry. Bye.